Hello, my name is Arthur Clavier, and I'm going to present a comparison of different formal methods for the verification of machine learning based cyber physical systems. This is a work that has to be seen in the context of the use of machine learning and safety critical systems, which is somehow challenging. Indeed, we often lack a comprehensive specification for the expected behavior of a machine learning model. And as a consequence, we don't have a complete specification against which verifying it, which is kind of a problem in safety critical applications. However, while specifying what we expect from a machine learning model may be intractable, then specifying what we expect from the system that incorporates this machine learning model is quite easier. That's why we focus here on a system level analysis that aims at verifying not only a machine learning model in isolation, but the world system that incorporates this machine learning model. And more specifically, we focus on a particular class of system, which we call cyber physical system with multiple neural network based controller, which is this, this closed loop there which combines a physical continuous time system with a discrete time controller, which will be further described in the rest of the presentation. Uh, so to illustrate, let me give the example of the airborne collision avoidance system with these two aircraft, an on-ship denoted by one and the intruder denoted by two. And to avoid a collision, the on-ship is equipped with this neural network based controller that produces horizontal maneuver advisories based on some inputs, including some geometrical variables describing the encounter between the two aircraft. And regardless of what we may expect from the neural networks, that is this input output relation, then we can easily express what we expect from the system. Actually, we want that whatever the initial configuration of the two aircraft is, then no collision happens. And provided we can verify this property, then we circumvent the problem of the specification of neural networks. So this leads us to those three questions. Do we have a model to reason about such a system? Can formal methods analyze this model? And finally, what about the performances of these formal methods? And to answer those three questions, here are our contributions. First, we define a model to formalize the problem of ensuring the safety of the system of interest. Then we review the available formal methods for analyzing this model. We uh, compare these formal methods against a benchmark with representative use cases, and we present the lessons learned from this experiment. First, to build a model of the system with we, um, we use a classical representation that is a hybrid automaton on the right. So this hybrid automaton has several variables, xp that is the state of the physical system, xs that is the sample state of the physical system, and xc that is the command produced by the controller. We start with an initial state that lies in the set of the possible initial state, then we go to this location represented the, representing the evolution of the dynamics of the physical system with this differential equation until the period T, that is execution period of the controller is pitched. Then we take this discrete transition representing the evolution of the controller and the update of the associated variable. So basically this discrete transition corresponds to an instantaneous event. Of course, the execution of the controller is not that instantaneous. And to take account of this non-instantaneous uh, behavior, we use this access variable that actually recalls the state of the physical system at the previous period. Then let's focus on this controller update function. We assume that the controller is a decision-making procedure that is a classifier, uh, meaning that the output belongs to a finite set. And to choose this output, we have a collection of neural networks but only one of these neural networks is used at each execution, depending on the previous command. Then the selected network take as input uh, the preprocessed uh, sample state of the physical system, and an augmin, augmin or augment function is applied on its output to determine the command to be applied to the physical system. So here we have this particular architecture with this switching mechanism that allows to have several small networks instead of a unique large neural network. 
and which allows for reduced memory footprint and execution time, which is particularly interesting in the context of uh, real-time embedded systems. We also assume that the networks uh, use rectified linear unit activation function, which again is reasonable in the context of real-time embedded systems. Then the question we are interested in is um, to determine whether the system can reach an unsafe state within a bounded time horizon, taken equal, equal to k times t, the execution period of the controller. And to answer this question, let's first define what are the possible behaviors of our system. A possible behavior is a run that uh, is a sequence of state of the hybrid automaton. We start with the state that lies in the set of, this, of the possible states, initial states of the system. Then we alternate between states resulting from the evolution of the dynamics of the physical system, corresponding to this T arrow, and states resulting from the execution of the controller, corresponding to this delta arrow. Then we consider a set E representing a set of undesired state of the physical system leading to a failure of our system. So typically this is this collision cylinder around the on chip for the ACAS. And then given this set E, we have our reachability problem that is a decision problem. We want to decide if there exists a run of size K such that uh, an element of this run belongs to the set E. And to answer, uh, this question, we have several formal methods that are available. Uh, here we distinguish between exact and approximate verification methods. Exact verification provides both a sound and complete result, meaning that if the system is said to be safe, then it actually has a safe behavior and otherwise it actually is unsafe. While approximate verification is sound only, meaning that uh, if the system is not said to be safe, then one cannot conclude due to approximation and we may have some false negatives. Regarding exact verification, it is applicable under some restrictive assumptions that capture the fact that the system needs to have a piecewise linear behavior. So the dynamics must be such that the ODE has a solution that is piecewise linear in the initial states and in the command, and the preprocessing must be a piecewise linear function. And under these assumptions, and given the fact that uh, rectified linear unit activation functions are used, then mixed integral linear programming can be used to capture the semantics of a run, and then the verification problem becomes a collection of K feasibility problems. And this is an approach that is implemented in the Venmas tool. Then regarding approximate verification, the idea is to construct a flow pipe that over approximates all the possible runs of um, the system. So this is quite similar to a run, but instead of considering a scholar as an initial state, then we have a set of the possible initial states of the system XP0. Then we compute the reachable states of the physical system after the T period by approximating the dynamics, then X as zero is propagated through the controller yielding the reachable new commands. Of course, due to approximation and the fact that our max or argument function is applied to a set, then we may have several reachable new commands resulting in those uh, several paths because uh, the actuation command drives the selection of the neural network at next execution. So this is an approach that is implemented by NNV and Samba tools, which differ uh, by the set used to represent the reachable states of the system and the abstraction used. So typically NNV use, uses Zonotop to represent the set of the reachable states of the physical system, while Samba uses a non-relational set that is a box. And for neural network, NNV uses star set abstraction, while Samba uses either Zonotop or Polytop based abstraction. So basically, NNV is expected to provide a more precise, yet possibly more expensive uh, approximation. So to evaluate these tools, we built a benchmark based on these three use cases the ACAS that I already presented, the VCAS that is quite similar to the ACAS except that uh, the aircraft evolved in a vertical plan and the card pole, which is an inverted pendulum on a moving cord, and this associated property of interest is to keep the card pole balanced, that is to keep this theta angle close to zero. 
So the benchmark consists in this cross product of the tools and these three use cases, which present a different degree of complexity in terms of verification, depending on the number of possible commands, the number and the size of the neural networks used, and the nature of the dynamics, which can be linear or nonlinear. Then for each of these use cases, we built a set of verification problems. A verification problem is an initial state. So for instance, the initial position of the intruder relative to ownership in the case of the ACAS, plus an uncertainty on this initial state and a time horizon along which the system is evaluated. Then to evaluate both the accuracy and the scalability of the tools, we consider different criteria for building the verification problem. First, the criticity of the problem. Can the system reach an unsafe state um, without any command from the controller, typically? The type of problem, do we have uncertainties on position variables only, or velocity and angle variables only, or all state variables? And finally, the time horizon that can be either small or large. So this is an extract of the results for the VCAS, where we considered 54 problems and time horizons ranging from 5 to 25 seconds. The horizontal axis is the cumulated verification time for verifying the 44 problems. And uh, the vertical axis is the percentage of problems solved. So basically, the best solver is on the top left hand corner. Here, we can see that Venmas is quite more expensive than the two other tools. Uh, this is mainly due to um, uh, the, the, the big number of decision variables and constraints for important uh, problems like uh, the ones with large time horizons, which often result in uh, timeouts. Uh, we can see that NNV and Samba can solve all the verification problems, but that NNV is faster than Samba. So NNV, as I explained, is more expensive but also more accurate than uh, Samba. So it can construct smaller reachability trees while Samba may consider that uh, more uh, commands are reachable uh, than NNV will, con will uh, construct a tighter set. And at the end, the trade-off between this uh, cost of uh, a precise analysis with NNV and a large reachability tree with Samba is in favor of uh, NNV. Here are the results for the ACAS. So the Venmas is not applicable on this use case because the required assumptions are not satisfied. This time, Samba is better than NNV. It's faster and it can solve more problems. So this time, the, the trade-off, which I explained just before, is in favor of Samba. We also know that NNV sometimes reaches timeouts due to its higher costs compared to Samba. So finally, uh, about the lessons learned uh, from this experiment, a first lesson is about the applicability of formal methods. We show that 97.3% of the totality of the problems could be solved by at least one tool. But this is a conclusion that mainly applies on approximate methods because exact method um, appears to be hardly applicable due to the restrictive assumption and the scalability issues. A second lesson is about uh, the benefit and pitfalls of system level verification. It circumvents uh, the problem of the specification of a machine learning model, but it also requires a very costly analysis that is quite more expensive than analyzing the neural network in isolation. So typically this table shows that uh, for NNV, 25% of the verification time is spent on analyzing the dynamics so it, it makes uh, 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 an important overhead compared to the, the verification of the neural network in isolation. A third lesson is about possible uh, optimization and the discussion of this possible optimization, for example, emerging strategy to reduce the size of the reachability tree that is constructed by uh, the Samba tool and which we showed to be uh, inefficient. And a fourth lesson is a heuristic for choosing the best approach given uh, uh, for given verification problem, uh, depending on uh, some parameters such as the number of possible commands involved in the controller and the nature of the dynamics. Uh, so thank you for your attention, and I'm looking forward to your questions during the Q&A session.